Last night on the telly, we saw week five, episode five of The Apprentice. Yes, one more contestant lost their fight for Bill Cullen's job. <laughs> it was Caroline. Caroline McHugh. I'm not sure if she put up much of a great fight, really, in the end of it all. No, she probably didn't. And here to tell us all about it is uh, from series one, The Best Loser. <laughs> Nikki O'Callaghan, welcome to the show. Nikki, I happy would, to be here. I would have said you were the runner-up, but I'd never call you best loser. Yeah, no one's a loser. Everyone's a winner. You're Caroline. right. Oh, look, that's the Bill Cullen <laughs> School of Apprentices. <laughs> now, the first so, series of The Apprentice seems like a long time ago. That was the year Brenda won it? Year Brenda and won you it. You were snapping at her heels? Yeah. Happy with the way things have turned out? Uh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Good. But I have to just say, I was laughing about the We Task last night, because, you know, the We Task, we worked for We on, and that was the infamous episode where Joanna got kicked out for cheating. Oh, oh. Yes. Yeah. Okay, well that, that yeah. leads us on nicely to talk about what happened last night then on The Apprentice. So, to start with, right, yeah. I am absolutely baffled, bewildered and confused as to who is on what team anymore. I am as well. It's just chopping and changing. Yes. So let's even, we, can we even know who's on Fusion and Elevate? Well, or the, should we bother? The pr- project managers on both teams. Yeah. Tara was for Elevate. Yes. And... Uh, Barry Caesar salad. Barry Caesar was for fusion. F yeah. for failure. They're always losing. Yes. yes. Fusion are we losing every That's single That's how you remember it. F for failure. They're always losing. Now I know who's on what team. Thanks for clearing that up. Okay, <laughs> so, so... Tell us about the task. So basically, they had to do a bush shelter campaign um, for We Ireland. So it was a nationwide campaign to basically sell and um, educate a concept about free recycling for house waste and electrical materials and mm. batteries. Right. So literally, I mean, an ad shell as well, and they had to do a schedule for 100,000 for a two-week campaign. So, I mean, be clever. Listen to what they're saying. It's the number one thing, especially Bill. Be simple, be colourful, and Original. be innovative. Yeah. Like, I watched it for an hour, and I still didn't know what <laughs> Fusion's ad was. I yes. didn't even get enough time to read all the text. Like, what, what were they thinking? What was on their ad? Because theirs was quite... Um, well, they were trying to animate it with little characters, weren't they? It was oh, a bus shelter, wasn't it, Nikki? Couldn't tell you. It was a bush <laughs> shelter with kind of <laughs> with, a, with a battery and a fridge, maybe, and a cooker. And they had arms and legs. Yeah. yeah. And um, Barry was gassed because he was trying to pick... He, well, he was saying to the graphic designer, I'm looking for some uh, little characters, like the M&M characters. Yeah. And the graphic designer they didn't was like... Even, I didn't even know what they looked like. I know Bill kept going on about Disneyland and all this kind of stuff. Like, literally, it was a storybook. If you were driving by that bus shelter or standing on it, you'd miss your bus because you'd be there for about 10 minutes trying to read it. It appears to me like this is getting more like Disneyland than recycling. <laughs> God, who writes that man's lines? He's good, isn't he? <laughs> he writes his own. Okay, so that was hard to understand it ultimately uh, made them suffer what about the the other gang Elevate Elevate yeah they did well I think Tara had a very strong team behind her so she, she was very very lucky yeah. um, I'm loving Michelle I think she's great um, I, I liked their idea of the, the wanted dead or alive I thought it was a bit much kind of saying it was related to crime like they've only two days to do all of this it was a good concept it was clear it was kind of funny you definitely look at it because it's something you relate to now the big big mistake they made is they changed the logo go like you wonder if these guys ever watch previous episodes it's the number one rule we ireland which are a recycling company's logo on their their sheet yeah. their ad and they changed it it was yeah. a battery and they took the battery out of the but we lo- yeah. we had said that was their old logo so they're after spending probably tens of thousands <laughs> to rebrand for brand recognition and the apprentices just go i'll cut that out and i'll go back a year i think both teams did that didn't they they, they both kind of doctored with the logo which yeah. as you say is a fun Fundamental. No, no, you don't do it. <laughs> no, no. For Tara, I suspect that this was this was her last chance. Yeah, yeah definitely. She, if Bill's, she lost, she was out. And Jackie particularly just wants to <sighs> drop kick her out the door. <laughs> yeah, she. I'd be a good visual. She love it. Drop kicker. She talked trash last Sorry. week and said, "Bill, you know you can rely on me. P- make me PM me this on the week." Line. And uh, she got lucky with the team behind her. I reckon, didn't she? Definitely. Like as she said, she would have been brown bread. Yes. Otherwise, no thanks to Cashman though. No, what use David Cashman, is that? Lad? He has to go. He has to go. Like uh, Caroline made a good point. There are a few people coasting in that elevate because they seem to be the lucky team right now. Fusion just keep losing time and time again. He's yeah. an events manager. David and Cashman. He stole a blank or a tablecloth <laughs> from, from the Burlington. Didn't bring it back. Then he ordered lights for the Helix, which is one of the top venues in Ireland. Like, uh, what is if he, he wasn't such an idiot, you'd laugh, wouldn't you? Oh. Yeah. He is. He's dork of the series. <laughs> okay, let's ta- talk about the far more interesting team because yeah. they're, they they contain a uh, team member, uh, Barry Caesar Salad. Oh. He's the character. He's the star of this show, this, this, this boy, isn't he? I want to punch him <gasps> so hard. Really? Oh, yeah. Like, he is, he's I'd, a creep. 
Would you not be afraid to punch him now, Claire? No, t- t- give us the clip and I'll tell you exactly why I want to punch him after this. <laughs> this one. The big thing for me on this is the fact that I have done well and then I, I lost it. My last car was a Bentley Continental. Like, I've had them all and I don't regret it, but at the same time, now you're looking back, geez, you, you spent 150,000 on the car. Yeah. He hasn't a brain cell. Oh yeah, we're we're sitting watching The Apprentice. Yeah, the we're just through the, we're, worst, we're through the worst recession since the eighties, and he's telling us, "Oh, I did well. Had a Bentley. Hundred. Can't believe I spent a hundred and fifty grand." He on probably car. sold it to Bill for about twenty grand. <laughs> he bought it off Bill. <laughs> anyway, he found himself um, on the losing team this week. He yes. led the losing team. Yeah. So he had to come into the boardroom, and uh, what two did he bring? Oh, <laughs> he brought in Caroline and Kira, and I'm sorry. The, just before they went back into the boardroom that whole scene threw me I don't know if you saw him but he was kneeling in front of the two girls holding their knees it looked like this healing session from Lords. <laughs> and you think maybe it would be a couple of seconds I had a look at the air fired afterwards 52 seconds he sat there holding the legs it was like a scene from Awake oh, he just decided stop. to bring the two of them into the yeah. boardroom and then he turns around and puts his hand on both of their knees and you could see by their yeah. eyes they were like yeah. take your hand off me all they wanted to do was think about how to get themselves not fired and in their mind they're probably going Get off me. Get off me. Get so, off me. would you say Barry's enhancing his reputation being on The Apprentice? <laughs> Absolutely not. He's ruined his career. Ruined. He was quiet last night compared to other tasks in the sense of he wasn't so kind of in your face and being all diplomatic, but it just it didn't work for him yeah. and it definitely didn't work for well, me. What I kind of find with him, he's, he's quite intimidating and aggressive towards yeah. the team, but once he gets in front of Bill, he's yeah. pussycat. 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 on air, though. He's pussycat. talking and trash all the time. Talking about pussycats. What was with Bill's firing last night? Yes. He was all over Caroline. She must have a serious amount of pheromones coming out or something because mm. all men just seem to drop. Yeah. Kieran was her. all about her. Jamie's, Jamie's all about her. The random guy in the background. And the Bill. baldy. Jamie, Jamie. Yeah. thank you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she has that effect. So it was the nicest, politest firing in the history of The Apprentice, wasn't it? I couldn't get over it. Like, she is a nice girl, but I don't think it was the place for her. Yeah, he said to her, you'll do well in the legal system, but you're just not up to the task. Yeah, it, it's like for The Apprentice, she's kind of all brains, no brass. You know, that way, like, you have to have some sort of experience in selling and marketing. And I just don't think she had that. Like, she seemed like a very, very nice girl. But what I'm really intrigued to know is why they hate Sarah so much. Everybody hates Sarah. Yeah, we haven't seen why, though. No. I'm really looking forward to that. They're a bit down on Kira too, as well. Yeah, I I think that's a bit unfair. I think Kira's actually strong, and I reckon it's a bit of a tactic. I think she's actually done quite well in the show, um, and they're kind of making her the the bitch, like. Yeah. um, But she hasn't really done anything wrong, and they just don't like her. Yeah. None of the house Well, what did you see? Brian Purcell was saying she's not a very good team player, so when she's in the task, she's working kind of going solo, so people don't really take to her. I think it's a strategy, though. I think they're all pinning for her right. and just trying to get her out because they're threatened by her do you reckon the girl who sits at reception and is playing on Facebook has more talent than the rest <laughs> of them put together definitely Jane that's her name definitely. oh yeah. wow we know her name I like Jane <laughs> Nikki it's been great oh look there the music's gone that means your time is up it's been great having oh, you in oh thank you so much for having me giving us the insight on The Apprentice and, and just one more final question of all the years of The Apprentice including the year you've been on is this year the dumbest yes <laughs>